so thrilled to have been shortlisted for the Miles Franklin. It feels quite surreal, um, especially for our first novel, but it's such an honour to be uh, on the list. My inspiration for, for The Night Guest really came out of a conversation I had with a friend about Victorian children's literature, which seems funny, but uh, she was just telling me about all of these sort of terrifying nursery rhymes and cautionary tales that Victorians would use to frighten their children. And they were always full of wild animals, so elephants and crocodiles and particularly tigers. And I just got really interested in the idea of this sort of very safe place, the nursery, being unsettled by something, this terrifying colonial beast. So I thought, what if I write a book about an elderly woman who's had a colonial upbringing, um, who thinks she's in a safe sort of place at the end of her life, and what happens if I take that house and that woman and throw a nursery tiger into the mix? I'd like readers to come away from The Night Guest feeling haunted by what they've just read. Uh, it is an unsettling book, though I love it when people tell me that it's um, funny or beautiful, because I hope it's those things as well. One thing that I do love is that a lot of people tell me they call their mothers as soon as they finish reading it. Mm -hmm.